Hello everyone, welcome to Asian Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity which has been released by ISRO, Satish Javan Space Center, Shar. Uh, so this is uh, a good notification. It is. It has been released for various positions, but we'll be only considering what are the technical positions which are there to be considered. For scientific engineering positions, we'll be considering that only. Right? And but there are a lot of other non-technical positions also which have been released or positions in which ITI is required. If you want to look out for these notifications, you can just go to the official website apps.shar.gov.in. You can just look out for the career page and then over there application window has been opened up for this particular notification, right? And uh, it is a good opportunity for the students who want to apply, right? In some way uh, or the other way, um, for the technical positions, the vacancies are a bit less for us. But most of the uh, positions will be for Siri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh, and some are for other uh, branches as well. If you want to apply for this opportunity, it's a good opportunity, you can apply. Right. Uh, for machine design, uh, Scientist SC position level 10 has been released. Uh, 56,100 to 177,500 rupees per month is there. 65% uh, shall be your minimum criteria and ME MTech you should have in machine design. So you should be having ME MTech and B BTech in mechanical engineering. 65% is your basic uh, uh, requirement for your qualification. So ME MTech and B BTech students are apl applicable over here for this position. Industrial engineering, three number of positions are released. ME MTech you need to have in, in industrial engineering and uh, consequently mechanical engineering in your uh, BEP tech, right? Or equivalent qualification with an aggregate of 65% is required, right? Apart from that, electri electrical electronics students can also apply over here. BEP tech you need to have in your uh, uh, electrical or electronics domain, right? And apart from that, atmospheric science and meteorology, you need to have MSc in atmospheric science and meteorology and 65% criteria is followed for you as well. Analytical chemistry as well, same criteria in your required domain, you need to have uh, MSc. Apart from that, chemical engineering, you need to have B, B tech in your required domain and 65% uh, criteria is to be followed for you as well. Apart from that, uh, for lower level positions as well, there are some vacancies which have been released. You can just check out those as well. So over here, you can see some uh, positions for level seven technical assistant for chemical engineering, mechanical engineering have been released. You need to have first class diploma in your engineering domain. Uh, so 10 vacancies, as you can see, 11 vacancies total have been released. Automobile engineering also, it has been released. Electrical engineering, civil engineering, one position. Computer science, two position. Electronics communication, two positions. Electronics communication, again, okay, one position. So it is for the students who have a first class in their diploma so that you can apply over here as well. Now, apart from that, uh, scientist assistant level seven position. Some other vacancies for BSc students have also been released over here. You can just check out. Uh, that as well. Some non-technical positions like librarian, radiographer uh, have been released. Some ITI positions are also there. If you want to check out the detailed notification, it is a bilingual notification both in Hindi and English consecutively. So you can just check out on their official website. Uh, if you want, uh, if you are falling in the category of some non-technical or ITI positions as well, you can just check out over here, right? Now, apart from that, uh, I'll be only focusing, I, I only focused on the uh, considerations of our uh, student base, which are majorly from bachelor's degree and diploma students, right? Or MEM tech students. Uh, now the selection process and everything, the criteria with respect to the uh, physically handicapped criteria it has been mentioned over here you can just check out the physically handicapped criteria also uh, and it is very important to understand the nature of the job as well what kind of nature of job will be there whenever you are applying for a certain job you should have a basic mindset okay this shall be my profile so based upon that apply for a particular position don't just close your eyes and apply for all the positions so over here it has been mentioned category wise department wise that what kind of uh, job profile you will be working on Right. So it has been mentioned in this notification. It's a, it's in good detail. You can just refer to it. And uh, 
based upon that take a decision of be uh, of for applying for this particular position right for scientist sc position the age limit is 1830 years and this shall be your pay grade 86955 rupees per month and uh, apart from that uh, technical assistant positions 18 18 to 35 years shall be your consideration 69595 rupees shall be your consideration for other uh, smaller level positions also the age limit has been kept 18000 18 to 35 years right and for some non technical positions you can just refer based upon your requirement if you want uh, otherwise 750 rupees uh, is your application fees and low, for lower level positions it is 500 rupees right and sc st candidates are exempted i guess no they are not exempted but a lower level a uh, lower amount is required to be paid so yeah in that case 500 rupees is to be paid for us right for scst and physically handicapped students and documents which are required to be uploaded while you are form filling right while you are filling the filling up the form on the official website like photograph your certificates and everything education qualification certificates all should be there with you all the time once you apply for that uh, for scientist sc position the selection process will be through a written test and an interview the written test will be conducted in such a way that the theoretical and practical knowledge of the candidate will be tested covering both the breadth and the depth of the subjects which are supposed to be there and the candidates will be shortlisted for the interview in the ratio of 1 is to 5 right and minimum qualifying marks are 50% as you can see for part a they will be uh, 75 minutes which will be consider and uh, for post code 01 and 02 and post code 03 and 06 90 90 minutes as you can see uh, sorry 75 minutes for post code 01 and 02 for scientist sc position it is there like this and for uh, diploma it is 90 minutes 60 marks will be considered as the total marks for part a right and 80 marks for the uh, part a for uh, diploma students multiple choice questions will be there in this and each question will be carrying one mark apart from that there will be part b as well 20 20 marks uh, awarded to both the sides and also multiple choice questions will be there in both the cases and 30 minutes will be there for both the cases no negative marking will be there that's a positive sign and apart from that descriptive questions will be for 20 marks in the scientist sc positions only not for uh, the uh, diploma students so total total 100 marks will be there and pass criteria minimum 50% marks and in uh, shall be there in the interview and uh, 60% in the 60% is the qualifying criteria for the interview right apart from that uh, for other positions also uh, they have mentioned the different criteria for uh, technical assistant positions and everything you can just refer that aspect as well right so otherwise i have told you all the necessary criteria uh, which are required to be fulfilled right and uh, based upon that you can just check out based upon your qualifications and everything you can just check out the considerations yeah let's just check out the exam city uh, as well the exam city will be guntur visakhapatnam tirupati guwahati patna new delhi ahmedabad bangalore tiruvananthapuram and bhopal over here apart from that uh, there will be mumbai nagpur bhubaneswar chennai uh, tirun nilveli Tamil Nadu, uh, Hyderabad, uh, Lucknow, Dehradun, and Kolkata. Right, these are the exam center cities. And uh, if you are living in that particular city or nearby to that city, then you can apply. Last date of applying for this uh, shall be fourteenth of uh, November two thousand twenty-five. Right. So do check out this notification. It's a good uh, detailed notification which has been shared with the students, and uh, all the necessary criteria have been mentioned. so if you have any doubt do refer this on their official website i'll repeat the uh, url once again it is apps.shar.gov.in and uh, check out this notification so the application has started from 16th of october 2025 and last date is 14th of november 2025 right go to the official website shar.gov.in or apps.shar.gov.in right so uh, yeah these are the your final dates please do check out the dates as well for further updates also you can just check out the official website and if necessary something more important will come up we'll be sharing this on our youtube channel for that please subscribe to our channel like this video share it with your friends and uh, if there's in doubt please comment in the comment section thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video